E3 2018 is off to a big start with announcements from Sony, from Nintendo, and we're going to talk about them right now. Nintendo does their own thing. And in this, they've decided to kind of look to the past in their new upcoming Super Smash Brothers Ultimate because it will have every fighter that has ever appeared in any Smash at all times. And you can use a GameCube controller. And there's a new character. It's Ridley. He's a dragon robot. I like that. Yeah, Nintendo in this way kind of underscores their approach, which is like, we'll just let you do whatever you want with our games. Just do it. Just have that kind of fun. And it, I don't know. I didn't really, I'm not really good at Smash Brothers. So I'm terrible at Smash Brothers. I can't tell during Smash Brothers if I'm winning. Like, I'll hit someone off and I'll be like, I nailed it, and then it they fly back on. And then if I do the same thing, I'll still die. I'll die from that. It's not for everyone. Yeah. I'm not the best at it. I'm good at games that are seemingly more complicated. Right, same. But That's what's so frustrating <laughs> about it. Like, I have a friend who, when he got married, instead of like a conventional reception, it was just a Super Smash Brothers party. Your your friend is cool. Yeah. Okay, now let's say that's not your thing. Fortnite is available on the Switch right now. Another thing I don't need. You might. I don't need more people who are good at Fortnite playing Fortnite. Yeah, but it might be harder to play because of all the different platforms. I think PC is always going to have the edge. Dragon Ball Fighters is getting a Switch port, and then there were a few things that we were expected, like Fire Emblem Three Houses. Damon X Machina was what opened up. It looked really good. But moving on to PlayStation E3 2018, I always love this press conference because it has surprises. This year, it had very few surprises. I was really hoping for, for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm -hmm. Nowhere to be seen. I mean, of course it isn't going to be there because when I first saw the trailer I, or the, the teaser, I thought, oh, we're not going to see this for five at least five years, and that's probably going to be the case. Uh, they did have Last of Us Part Two, which was incredible. It shows how good Naughty Dog's animation was from just the kiss to a seamless cut to um, crazy murder. So this, yeah, so I'll, it, I, it feels like <laughs> if I were to give it a nickname, it would be the sneak around game. Yeah. You're just sneaking around and the like sophistication of the differences in like animation of moves mm -hmm. that seem like, they don't seem like that same kind of animation. Like if you play, I've been playing a lot of God of War, like when I dive in God of War, it's the same animation all the time. And when someone attacks me, it's the same animation all the yeah. time. They seem to be able to modify the attacks for how high the level of awareness of you, the defend, it the other guys like are. It seems like there are actual stakes in it because usually what you do is you absorb a bullet you wait five seconds and you're better. This, it seems like getting a bullet is really bad. Yeah, and you have to, you can pull the bullet, you can pull an arrow out of you, modify it in real time. And, uh, you know, there's still gonna be those things that I'm grateful for in games like that, where, like, if they saw me and I disappeared into grass, like, they're not gonna remember that specific part of the grass I disappeared into. But they do a really great job of, of keeping what just seems like sneaking around compelling. Yeah, I thought it, it really like added, it's not realistic, but it added more bits of realism that would show, yeah, this is a scary situation where you might die. Uh, would you play it? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm gonna play I'm, it. I'm I don't know. Too scared. I, <laughs> I will play it. I mean, it's too beautiful not to, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I liked where they were going with the, they, sh they should all be scared of you. You know, I'm just a girl. And no, Ellie is more than just a girl. She she is terrifying <laughs> in her own way. Uh, they also showed off a Ghost of Tsushima, which is coming from Sucker Punch. They're most famous for doing Infamous, which uh, it, it seems very different. There's no release date on that yet. Spider-Man for PS4 gave me a very hard Arkham Asylum vibe when I saw it, yeah. especially since they were in a prison with Spider-Man's uh, full dossier of villains, which yeah. is the exact premise of Arkham Asylum on top of the rhythmic uh, fight system. Right, yeah, that's what it felt like. I was like, ah, going into it, I was a little skeptical. It's just another like, Spider-Man game, but I kind of like another Spider-Man game. Yeah. Or another game like this. I kind of like games like that, so why not? I mean, sure. I wish it were a little bit more of its own thing than giving me 
hard comparisons to something else. They also showed Kingdom Hearts 3 again. This time I was sure that voice is not any returning voice actor at all, mm -hmm. since it's been um, well over a decade since the last main title in the game series. We have a VR game from From Software, the Dark Souls creator, which a lot of people are excited about. Do you want it to be more difficult? Well, let's put it in VR so you're scared in real time up in your face. There is a lot to come out. Did Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft do the best in your opinion? Please let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter.